Mike, thank you. Well, today I interviewed Congressman Guy Reschenthaler, the Republican who represents the 14th Congressional District in our area. It was a wide-ranging conversation. Last week, he called for the termination of the University of Pennsylvania president after a congressional hearing on on-campus demonstrations. She has since resigned. How, as a member of Congress, can you advise leadership on campuses about balancing um, safety and free speech? So what, what's interesting is there's a standard in the universities that the universities will track will crack down on speech that they don't agree with, that they don't find politically acceptable. But they were allowing speech to move forward. They called for the genocide of the Jews. And that's where this particular professor got in trouble trouble because as a dean of the university, she refused to call out anti-Semitism. Congressman Reschenthaler sits on the Appropriations Committee and said he is looking at a funding bill for Israel and Ukraine, as well as Taiwan, to defend itself against Chinese aggression. If, if we had armed the Ukrainians ahead of time, I would argue that we had a chance of preventing that war. We should look at that lesson and arm Taiwan so that the CCP, Chinese Communist Party, won't invade Taiwan. Uh, it's interesting that you mentioned that um, because former President Trump, um, you know, there was an issue with one of his impeachments regarding arming Ukraine and making sure they had, um, you know, the, the weaponry needed um, to defend itself. Um, do you still stand with former President Trump? And do you, to that end, do you believe that he bears any responsibility for the January 6th attack on the Capitol and the deaths that ensued? No, so we got to remember that the individual who qualified aid on Ukraine was actually Joe Biden. And then he went and bragged about it on live TV, saying that he did not give aid, he would not give aid unless a prosecutor was fired. So we know that went on. Um, President Trump sent lethal aid to Ukraine in the form of Stinger missiles, for example. As you know, Biden has ordered his Congressman Rushenthaler says he believes former President Donald Trump will be elected president again next year. You can see more of my conversation with the congressman on the WTAE app and on WTAE.com.